Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, I say these readings are for singles, but I start doing the readings. <laughs> and then, you know, they could be for couples too. I'm calling this a single reading. If you're a couple watching this, so be it. Whatever. I'm concentrating on singles. It's supposed to be a love reading. The last two, not so much. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not that reader. I'm authentic, okay? I don't pretty it up to get subscribers or to get points or any of that bullshit. All right? What comes out, comes out. So here we go. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do we got? Week ahead in love. Well, we we're going to get one of these. But we got two, and then we're going to go with this. So we got two. I, you know, I, I, I kind of got to take them, don't you think? This is an overall energy. So high priestess, spiritual, right? You guys are working on yourselves, right? You're going within. Are you going through some sort of ascension or something? Going through uploads? Working on your, your psychic uh, abilities, your sixth sense? What are you doing? Are you guys um, digging deep? you becoming more spiritually awake? Is that what's going on right now? Maybe you're going through some sort of awakening. That's what I'm feeling. You know, I feel like you guys are really using silence as your ability to harness your own inner power. You're going within this, this week. Maybe you're calling in a soulmate right now. Maybe you're just going within to call in that perfect mate. Is that what's going on? Or you're or you're ascending. Maybe you're you're working on your vibration. And or you're 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 working on developing your gifts. Either way, you're highly, highly, highly intuitive at this time. So do not doubt your gifts because you have them. They're there. Pay attention. Now, oh my God, you guys are going through an awakening. You are going through an awakening. You are. This is being enlightened. And it's through solitude, through silence. I hadn't seen, you, you saw, I didn't see that card. I didn't see that card. And I don't know any of these signs, so no. I, I didn't know what that card was. Silence, solitude. Refocus, replan, going within. That's what's happening here. Time of reflection, enlightenment, awakening. You guys are going through, or you guys and gals are going through an awakening. That's what's going on this week. I'm going to have to leave it like that because I don't know if I can open this without bumping the camera. I can. Okay. I like to get it right. It's not going to match, but that's okay. So you guys are going through some sort of awakening this week, or you have been, but you've reached a point where you know, you know it's within you. You do. And I feel like you guys are really working on you. I didn't even shuffle. I'm going to keep going. I haven't got my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Highly, highly intuitive at this time. Their gifts, they're being, they're ascending. Look at it, gaining wisdom, gaining clarity. Look at, look at this shit. Wow, amazing. I just, I mean, it's so. I keep on touching my heart. I keep on going to my heart. It's so profound. The changes that you are going through. You're becoming consciously aware. You're going through some sort of awakening. I know I keep repeating myself, but I gotta say what comes out. Wow. It's like, let go and let God. I think that you're really listening. And this is giving up the trying to control. 
You're letting it flow. You're letting it come in. You're no longer holding. It's like you're just going with the flow. I love it. You're letting it. You're letting it come in. You are really opening up. I can't even get up now. We got an issue. But not really. You're not. Ta this is not taking any action. So it's not really an issue because the magician takes action. Here you're not taking any action. And it's actually a good thing because you're letting it come to you. You're letting it. It's like you're not trying to control it. You're not trying to make it. It's like let go and let God. It really is. I love it. In this case, it's like you're not trying to make it happen. You're letting it happen. It's happening. It's happening. And you don't even have to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me zoom this in just a little bit. Love it. Opening up big time. Really pay attention to your thoughts at this time. And I mean your out of the blue thoughts. Say you're sitting at your chair at work and some thought comes in. That's a message. You're in the car and you get this random thought. That's a message. Really pay attention because that they're going to be speaking to you um, when you probably don't even expect it, okay? Those random thoughts are messages. There you are. New vision, new approach. <laughs> Looking good, feeling good, in your own power. V high vibrating, vi vibrating very highly, thinking positive. Is this is like a newfound passion, a new, a newfound ambition, a newfound drive. You're driven. You are driven. Mmm. Driven to go someplace you've never been before, huh? Huh? You're gonna you're you're ready. It's like you guys are really ready to start a new adventure. That's what I see. And I think that you guys are about to experience something that you have never experienced before. I really do. I see something brand new, brand spanking new coming into your life. Like you guys are going down a new path that you have never been down before and I think that that you guys were maybe fearful of this because this is this is fearful you may have been blocking this fresh new beginning this fresh start you this is blocking but I don't think I think that you're you're not blocking it anymore like I said I think that you're opening up you are you're opening up and and because you're opening up and you're letting it come to you you're not trying to control it you're about to go down go someplace that you've never been before been delayed though mm, but not anymore okay it has been delayed it's been delayed there was but not anymore. It's going to happen. It's going to happen fast. And you don't even need to do a thing but sit back and let it happen. Let it happen. So this is about love. I know. But as you can see, there is no cups in these cards. Okay? There's no cups. There's no cups. Okay? There's no cups. And so, you know, this is about you right now. It really is. This is about you. You're here. You're here. You're present. It's about your presence in the world. It's about your presence in society. It's about your presence in humanity. That's what this is about. And I feel like you guys are really taking the lead in your own life in a way that you never have before. I think you're taking bold risks to let go and let God to let go and not push away the unknown. I think that there was fear of this is fear of the unknown. Fear of, and this is too, but not now, okay? I think that 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 you're ready, that you're you're really allowing things to happen as they should and you're trusting and you're believing and you're and because you're so in tune right now, you're receiving uploads or 
gifts or enlightenment at <laughs> high speed okay at high speed and I feel like you guys are having you're having a lot of courage you're having a lot of um, determination even though this is lack of determination this is determination determination to allow yourself to follow your own path with out trying to without trying to fight the crowd you know without trying to fight what others without trying to appease that's a better word without trying to appease what everybody else thinks anyway I know this reading is supposed to be about love, but I think that you guys are starting a new journey. You're starting a new spiritual journey. I see, 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 new spiritual journey, new spiritual journey, new spiritual journey. You're going down a new spiritual road that you've never been down. And I think that you're allowing it. I think that's what's happening right now. I think you're not, you're becoming a whole different person. I don't think you're not the same person that you used to be. I feel like you're not taking any action right now to resist these changes. And because you're allowing, they're flying right in. They're just coming right in. They're coming in fast. So is there love for you singles this week? Is there new love coming in? I think you're looking for love. I think right now you're you're going through a period of solitude. You're going through a period of enlightenment you're going through an awakening you're going through a download you are really ascending to a whole different you that's what this is and i think that things are happening fast i feel like you guys are you may be leaving a negative situation to get to this place okay you may be leaving somebody that had hidden agendas you you may be getting the hell out of there so that you can you know follow your intuition maybe your intuition has told you that you need to get the hell out i don't know some of you are getting the hell out okay you're getting the hell out of a tricky situation okay some of you are some of you have decided it's time it's time to start over it's time to begin again it's time to go someplace out some of you have decided that after being in denial for quite some time or fear being in the way some of you are absolutely taking a risk and just stepping over that edge into the unknown and allowing and because you are doing that it looks to me like <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna receive some sort of uh gift for it okay you are Ooh. I feel like you guys may have an unexpected encounter along this journey, along this new path. See, it's right here. The lover's card is right here. Once you start over, once you allow, this may not happen this week, but once you take that step over the edge, once you really face the unknown, okay? Because both of these are facing the unknown. Both of them. I mean, this one is too. Once you really face the unknown, and you conquer your fears, you gotta conquer your fears. Conquer your fears. Once you conquer your fears, you're gonna run into this perfect match, okay? On the other side, on the other side of this ledge, when you get to the end of the path, when you've really taken that step and there's no looking back and you've allowed, you've allowed, you've followed your intuition, you've faced your fears, this is what you're going to run into. That's Cupid's arrow. That's Cupid's arrow. You're going to run into the perfect match. You're going to run into somebody that is so familiar to you that <laughs> you never look back. Okay? But the first step. Is into the unknown. And you got to have faith. The fool has to have faith. So you have to have faith. Have faith that your intuition is guiding you. Have faith in yourself. Use this time of solitude. Use this time of reflection to just let go. 
and let God because you are headed towards a beautiful partnership. All you got to do is find the courage, the confidence, the willpower, to take a risk and believe and have faith That what you hear, what you know is the truth. And when you truly believe in your own intuition, your gifts will grow faster than you ever imagined. Trust me. So I feel like this is a week of following your intuition alone. These are both alone, okay? Alone. Going within, using silence as your tool to allow it to guide you down the right path. Do I see that new love is coming this week? Not this week. Because you got to take that step into the unknown first. If you take that step now and you allow, so look at, think of it this way, six months, six months from the time that you truly follow your intuition. Now the universe knows if you haven't or not. Could be six months, could be six days. Could be June. The fact of the matter is, you can't look back. You're headed to a new place. Follow your intuition, and down the road, you will run into this perfect match. But right now it's a time of solitude, so that's what there's there's no I don't see I don't see I don't see it happening right now. I think you guys are opening up spiritually and that's what this is about. I'm gonna get I haven't gotten nobody one of these yet, so we're gonna get you guys one of these. I don't know why. I just follow. I just do whatever I gotta do. And that's what you need to do. Whatever my intuition tells me to do, I do. That's what you do. I think we have somebody here that's giving up, giving up the fight. I'm not going to fight the universe. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to allow. I'm going to allow. I'm going. Stepping into the unknown. That's what I see. Is a new love coming in? Down the road, yes. I say six months down the road from the moment you take that real step. But it's got to be a real step. Not a step back. Okay? Step forward. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. One card. <laughs> Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. <laughs> what are feelings? You think about the high priestess. Feelings are feelings, intuition, thoughts, feelings, feelings. This is about intuition is a feeling. It really is. It's a thought. It's a feeling. It's a whole, all of it put together. F listen to yourself follow your heart. Do not let anybody tell you anything different. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. End of story. You follow your heart and don't let anybody hold you back. And that's what I got for you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. I did though. Oh God, I cut the deck. I just cut the deck. 
Now, these don't come out reversed and it should be sideways anyway. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Don't jump. Take steps. Steps. You know, when I see this card, I think there's doubt. There's doubt here. You see? It's like, if you look, that kind of looks like an older her, right? It kind of does. And it's like she's doubting herself. Doesn't it look like she's doubting herself? And this was like she's receiving a message from somebody, you know, intuitively or whatever. But she's doubting it. Stop. Believe. Have faith. You're being guided. You are. Is a new love coming in this week? No. Down the road it is. Down the road. I'm thinking six months from... The day you step into the unknown for real. That's my, that's a guess. Good luck.